Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing another video, and today we are covering Insurgency Sandstorm Operation Crisis, which is the newest update available here starting June 18th, 2024. So I know there was news that the studio was shutting down. It is not shutting down. So we're going to go through some of the new things here, and I'll show you the guys' weapons in the, the, um, in the firing range just so you guys can see them. So first off, we come into the loaded screen here. And you can see a whole rework. It looks really great. I love the background. I love the music. It looks really, really cool. So this is a great um, addition to the game. Obviously, we're security insurgents. I just overall hate playing insurgents. I typically, for this game, play co-op in a uh, hardcore checkpoint. So I never really play insurgents. So I don't really care about that. But jumping into it, just so you guys can see, um, there is... Currently a bug, I purchased the DLC, there's currently a bug where it's showing not unlocked, so just, th they're aware of it, and once they fix it, it'll automatically, everything will be unlocked for you. So you can see, I purchased the um, chemical combat suit, and it's showing not unlocked. This will be, this will be fixed soon, but you can see the, um, the way it's going to look, right? So this is going to be pretty sick um, to go into combat with this, especially um, the new ones. So you get two combat uniforms, which is that, which is that overall chemical suit. So you get it for the torso, all that stuff. Chemical combat top. So the chemical combat suit is for the security. You can see there, you'll get all of that. Unfortunately, so you can see it there in the background, looks good. You get it for the torso also. Let's see if we can at least preview it here. Uh... The lightning compatible with cosmetic boots. Okay, so I would need to take the boots off for that. So let's just, let's do that quick for this. Or no, let's go chemical combat boots. So you can see what they look like. We'll just go with something different there so we can at least see what the legs look like. So that looks pretty cool, honestly. That's gonna be a cool uniform when it unlocks, but this is a bug, they, they are aware of this about seven hours ago. I'm not sure if it's impacting, I'm on PS5, so um, that's where I'm experiencing it. Gloves, you get chemical combat gloves. So there's a lot of stuff here. No, nothing new for equipment, I don't think for the backpacks either. And then for the insurgents, you get the uh, the insurgents you get this essentially the equivalent so we'll look at that really fast for the headgear protective gas mirror which it's uh it's it's just a gas mask honestly so i'm not really too concerned with insurgents because i never really use them but i'll probably show this on screen i'll go back and edit the video maybe and just throw it up there so you guys can see it let's go ahead and see can i back out no here we go so by DLC here, we can probably see what this looks like. So you can see it's purchased. So here, here's what the insurgents look like. So you can see that's their chemical combat suit. That looks pretty good. Here's the security. So again, it's very like, it's very Desert Storm-esque, which I like. And then you also get weapon camos for insurgents and security. So for the, uh, this is the security. We'll go ahead and look at that on some of the weapons. You also get the new weapon there, which is the uh, McMillan TAC 338, Chamber 338 Lapua. And you can see the Alpha AK. You kind of get a, a nice, uh, really good Alpha AK uh, camo there now, finally. Um, and you can see here also the unlock for the Insurgents is the is the British assault rifle, the L96A1, I want to say, I believe is what that is. The L96A1 is that British assault rifle, also shaped in 338 Lapua Magnum. So go ahead and back out. Those, That's everything you get with uh, the season pass. So the, this game is still going. There is news. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. You also get a new map, though, which is Train Yard. So if I... We'll go into the tutorial, then we might look at the map. So... Uh, jump into the tutorial. So Train Yard is a new map that will be available, or is available now. But um, the two new weapons, so again, really cool that this game's still going because early in the year, the very end of last year, was announced that that studio was shut down, and yet they're still coming out with updates. They had the Gen 9 update, which I'm currently playing on, Gen 9 for next-gen consoles, and then you also have the, uh, 
this obviously this new Operation Crisis, which is really cool. So here, let's look at the uh, the L96A1. This is a British sniper rifle, chambered again, 3.58 Lapua Magnum. You see the stats there, the fire rate, velocity, penetration, horizontal recoil, all that. Uh, we're gonna run the suppressor, and the cool thing is here, you get the wrap suppressor. So we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, seven times sniper scope looks back best for that one. Magazine, you have a five or uh, increase it to a 10. We'll stay with a five. We're gonna run that side rail for a laser option. Chamber, so you also have a greased bolt, which allows for faster rechamber speed. Aesthetic, so here's this. This is working, so it allows me to at least use the dusty uh, aesthetic option. Or no, it doesn't, does it? Let's see, hang on. It may also be a bug, yeah. So it's not letting me use it. But again, they, they know this is a bug, they're working on it. So that's what it will look like. And then you have the ammo. So let's go ahead, we'll we'll check that. Let's put that suppressor back on though. Suppressor, show you guys Push this out. gun. All right, come on. So also you have the, um, the bi I have the bipod attachment on here, so you can use the bipod. Very accurate. Let's see if we can not die while uh, doing this. Enemy squad. Whoops. Hey, can I get an observer? Enemy squad. Let's see how we do here. That didn't go so well. Let's try that again, huh? Roger. Definitely not the best with the uh, <laughs> with the sniper rifles, but the L96A1 again, 3 the pool magnum. There we go. That's better. Reload. And the Gen 9 update like really brings it similar to par. With PC, at least. I think. Close to, at least. Oh, oh no. So that's the L96. Reloading. Let's reload, you guys can see it. And then we'll look at the... Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, McMillan TAC-338 also, so this is the security weapon. Now you can see what the aesthetic looks like there. I, I really want that. So once it unlocks, like that'll be really nice. Again, it's a known issue, so they'll fix it for sure. Let's just go with a compensator this time so we can hear what the 338 sounds like. We'll go with the bipod. Side rail, we'll go with that PEC-15. Optic, we gotta go with the seven times sniper. And ammo's fine. Chamber will go with the grease bolt again. So that looks pretty cool. It would look way cool. Uh, that pick 15 actually looks kind of horrible on there. So let's take that off. Let's see. It's R2 to remove. Yeah, let's take that off. I don't really like that. I guess there's a rail there. So we'll put it on. It just looks obnoxiously large. But the aesthetics for this look super clean. That looks really, really nice. I'm kind of bummed it's not, it's still bugged, but again, like I said, they're working on it. So it should be fixed. So here's the McMillan TAC 338. And we got our bipod. Oh, that sounds beefy. Changing my magazine. You can see the reload option there. Let's try, let's try again. Let's see how we do. I really haven't played this on console in quite a while since probably around the Gen 9 update. Yo, hey, hey, I'm That's a lot of guys. I feel like they increase the amount of guys. But again, the new train yard map is pretty cool looking. Shots 
Now the McMillan Tech 58 is a really nice gun. I would have loved to also see the McMillan Tech 50 is a sick gun too. Both were in Medal of Honor and Warfighter, if anyone played those. Let's see. There we go. I think we got him. Let's see. This bipod is fixed, so that I mean, there's a setting I can adjust, but yeah, that's a nice gun. Now, too bad we can't use the uh, camos on the other guns because it's just not. It's a little bit bugged with the unlock. But um, let's see, like an Alpha AK, having the right camo for the Alpha AK. Um, looks really cool. And again, you saw it. those camels are available for, where's the alpha? Somewhere here. I don't want to mess up. Here it is. Nope, here it is. So those camos, the insurgency one, while I look on my other screen, the insurgency ones, or the security is available for the M240, the VHS, TAC350, G3, Vector, and the R9, R90. But you can see, let's see, dusty. So that looks, I mean, that's that's a nice Alpha AK right there. So once that unlocks, that'll be really nice. And then for the insurgents, the uh, the weapons that are part of that camo group, obviously are here, the Alpha AK, the QBZ-95, um, that, that shotgun, I can't remember what the Russian shotgun is there, MG-3, the Type... Uh, QBZ 97, Type 95, and the L96. So let's take a look. Let's see what the, the VHS looks like with that camo. Because the VHS is one of my favorite guns in the game for sure. Here it is. The VHS. So Desert Veteran versus Dusta. I mean, Desert Veteran looks super nice. Two-tone's good for sure. I do like the two-tone. Can remove that. I do like it black ammo so you can see i mean that that looks really cool really good unlocks the train map again it looks pretty nice um unfortunately i don't have it i haven't played it yet but i may do a stream here on the channel later if you guys are interested and uh check that out either it'll be on twitch or most likely twitch i'm not going to do it on youtube um but if you guys want to check that out on twitch but the cameras and everything i'm not sure if you buy this right now um you very well may have everything unlocked. This is just, it seems like it's an intermittent issue that they're uh, aware of. So it should be fixed relatively soon. And once you have that, it'll be unlocked. So it's not like, it's not like you spent the money and you're not going to get it. Like you will get the unlocks. It's just a matter of um, that getting figured out on the back end. So that's good. I think all this is really good news that we're going to be getting more from Insurgency okay. Sandstorm. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, this train yard map looks really good. Maybe we'll play that over on Twitch if you guys want to check that out. Let me know your thoughts down below. What weapons do you guys want to see for Insurgency Sandstorm going forward? Because there's a lot of guns I want to see in this game still, but to be honest, I really want to see them move into a third iteration of this game. I think is kind of the... The next thing I really want to see from them is a, a true, true next-gen experience here from the game would be great. The 338 just sounds awesome, though. I love the highlighted low, low ready there. If you could control that. Um, it, also, if you guys want to see, I got, since I got the PC, I, I do have it on PC, and I can run some ISMC mods. So if you guys want to see some of those videos, those will definitely be coming. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in more content. Let me know your thoughts down below on Operation Crisis, the newest season from Insurgency Sandstorm. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming with Operation Crisis. We got the McMillan TAC 338. We have the British L96A1. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.